What's up? I'm back. Did you bring gas? Oh man. The car's still dirty. Did you bring gas? <laughs> what does that look like? It looks like gas. Yeah, I brought it. It's like it's it's still on the dyno. Yeah, I ran out of gas on the dyno. You have one mile per gallon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's a fast mile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take air temperatures. Coming in at 77 degrees. In the blower, it's 30. That's what the inner chiller does. Wow. All right, so this is good actually, because if uh, if we get pulled over, Andrew gets a ticket. for my first ride in my car. Alrighty, so I've managed to get in the passenger seat of my car. This is, I think maybe a first or second time. I don't even know, but it's definitely weird. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, we are now driving on the road in the Freedom Rocket. And uh, I've got the laptop, Andrew is driving, so putting the window up in this car makes no difference on how loud it is. Mine's up too. It says you have an airbag out, Nick. How did that happen? I don't know. I must say this is quite an experience. It's the first time back in my car. Yeah, you know, we've been driving on the road for like three months now and I'm in the passenger seat. And this idiot's in the driver's seat. It actually drives really good. Does it? I'm, I don't know how. <laughs> it is. Definitely sounds a lot different. Like a lot different. I don't know what it is. It's like a, a deeper kind of like chop to it. How's it feel coming to a stop? Fine? Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't feel bad. It's not like pushing through the brakes? No, no. It, it has a little bit of a, a slight like flare that... I, I may get rid of. Yeah. But, I mean, for the most part, it, it feels really solid. Yeah. I and mean, this is at a 700 RPM idle. This cam's supposed to idle at like 900 and above. Right. <laughs> what was that? That's deceleration fuel cutoff. Oh, so what does that do? So, to save gas, it shuts off the injectors. Oh my god. You know, you need to save as much gas as you can in this thing. Yeah, so there, my car is now uh, fuel economic. day before Motorama which is uh, setup day and um, it's gonna be a long day let me tell you that uh, the weather has been not so great unfortunately so I had to make some arrangements to get my cars to the show obviously I'm not gonna drive the Freedom Rocket in the rain because that car essentially has slicks on the rear and skinnies in the front so um, got a trailer that car and uh, my other car is completely clean and we're gonna trailer that one as well. So I've acquired an enclosed trailer, as you can see, it's right behind me, I'm towing it right now. And um, I'm gonna be going to CSP to get the Freedom Rocket because we left it there. Um, Cause like I said, the weather hasn't been cooperating this past week and I haven't been able to drive it home. It's been raining every single night this week. So we're picking it up today. Today's Friday. We're gonna tow it right from CSP directly to a car wash 
uh, in my hometown, which is sort of near Motorama, and then it's gonna go right from the car wash, right into the trailer, and right to Motorama, so it's gonna be a freshly washed car. But I'm actually pretty interested to see how this truck will do with an enclosed trailer and my car in it. Um, I've towed before with an open bed trailer and my car, and it did fine, so, you know, this trailer is a lot bigger and a little bit heavier, so we'll see how, how the truck does. And here we are at CSP, made it. Yeah, look at that. Freedom trailer for the Freedom Rocket. Look at that. Freedom! Freedom! <laughs> Speaking of freedom, there it is. And it's, uh, it's a little dirty. So we're going to wash it as soon as I get it home. We're, we're taking it right to a car wash in that trailer. And then... Wash it in the trailer? No, but... <laughs> I was going to say, that wouldn't go so well. <laughs> It's coming right off the trailer into a car wash and then going right back into the trailer and then to Motorama. So it'll be squeaky clean for the show. We're gonna get the trailer open. Oh look, he decided to join the party. I don't even know what happened. I'm, I don't know where I am. How do I get out of here? You gotta crawl out the window, Dukes of Hazard style. I'm telling, that's how you have to do it. This is the same trailer I used at the uh, last call out last October. So if it's nice, it just sucks because there's no escape door here. So you literally have to crawl out the window. All right, so we changed our mind because there was way too much tongue weight on the trailer. So we're gonna back the car in because it's way heavier in the front of the car than the rear. And uh, we can have it all the way butt up against the door. Hopefully the truck will sit a lot nicer. So that'll do. See you when we get to the car wash. Alrighty, so we're on the highway now, and um, you know it's not driving bad at all. I mean it's a bit underpowered because of the smaller 5.3 V8, but other than that, I mean it can tow it fine. It's not shaking. It's not doing anything weird. It's riding pretty smooth. Um, there's a little bit, like I said, there's a little more tongue weight, and uh, the truck is sitting a lot more in the down in the rear than I. I you know than normal but um which is kind of affecting the steering a little bit but not nothing to be concerned about it's definitely not uh sketchy or life-threatening or anything like that so i'm actually impressed on how good the drive feels in this truck uh with a fully enclosed trailer and you know essentially an, an almost 4,000 pound car this pretty much proves that this 1500 5.3 silverado can definitely pull an enclosed trailer with a with a, with a heavier car. And we're here at the car wash. So now we're gonna unload this, throw it in a bay there, get it washed. Then we're going to go get the 2017 and take that to Motorama first, I decided. And then we're gonna come back and pick this up when it's done and take it to Motorama. And look at that, here we are. Back at the house, ready to load 2017. Mm, cold. This one's freshly washed, courtesy of the car wash that we were just at, that the Freedom Rocket's getting washed at. Big thanks to those guys. Quick quality car wash for hooking me up. Dan is a great guy that, uh, he's a friend of mine that owns that car wash. And look at that, look at that. That thing looks sweet. Right, Lauren? Right. Alrighty, got her strapped down. Front and rear, centered up nice. Thanks to the help with, of Lauren. It's her first time doing it, so I kind of had to do some explaining, but we're all good there. Next stop. Motorama. So we've made it to Motorama with the trailer and the truck, obviously. So now we're gonna unload car number one, or ZL1 number one. And then we're gonna unload all the other stuff, like the merch and the uh, tent and everything and uh, we'll go back and get the Freedom Rockets because that should be done getting washed. Okay, so it's a big mess in there. Uh, cars dropped off, so that's good, but we're on our way to get the Freedom Rocket, and uh, I didn't film in there because, like I said, it was a, in, uh, a huge mess. So we're on our way to get that, get the freshly cleaned Freedom Rocket, and we're going to head back to Motorama. All right, back at the detail center, car wash, and the car should be squeaky clean. Oh, there it is. Show us your work, man. Oh yeah. Back in business, all shined up, finally. Three months of dust, 
has been cleaned from the car. Looks good, man. Looks real good. Oh boy. Look at that. So much better. What do you think? Way better. <laughs> it's even Al Oppenheiser approved. Did you get a chance to wipe the interior down? Did you really? Oh, nice, man. Dude, you guys do great work and quick, too. Awesome. It looks great in here. Even smells good, too. Oh, yeah. So there was like an inch layer of dust on these doors because I hadn't cleaned this car in the inside in a long time, you know. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. No you guys rock. Quick quality car wash, man, here in the Colonial Park. This is the first time I was going to show this to you guys. Mike Joe sent that to me in my P.O. box, so it had to go on this car. And then we also have the last finishing touch that I'm going to do here. We're doing the Freedom Freshener right on the roll bar. That's the finishing touch. And there we go. Freedom Freshener. Oh, yeah. All right. Got the car loaded in the trailer. We're good to go. We're heading to Motorama to drop the last one off, and then we'll set up the uh, tent and everything. In fact, the girls might actually be there. By the way, this is Mark. What's up, you Friend of mine from uh, Ohio. Right, where are you at in Ohio? Youngstown. Youngstown, right? Ohio. Cleveland and Pittsburgh. There you go. So he came down for the weekend to hang out with us in Motorama and decided to lend a helping hand. And um, if there's one lesson you guys learn, never deny a helping hand. All right, we're in the Freedom Rocket. We've arrived at Motorama, it's still in the trailer. And we're going to start it in the trailer. Mark get in. Mark just helped me back this out of the trailer and he's the VIP for today. This is his first time in the Freedom Rocket. What do you think? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's louder. Oh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's louder. Definitely louder. Here we go. Opening up the doors. Motorama. Everybody's looking at us, Mark. Yeah. We're making a lot of noise here. We're the, we're the loudest ones here right now. That's for sure. That was my other car. That's, that's straight. straight. You want to bring it straight with it? Um, I kind of would like them like together like that. I'm going to put this there and then move that one over. Alrighty, we finally made it to Motorama. Everything is in. All the cars are lined up. It's about 9 o'clock right now, so they're about to shut the doors. And look who's here! Mike Davenport, the legend of Kentucky, is here. The legendary salesman. How's the flight? Good, easy. Easy, yeah. Yeah. You slept on it, didn't you? No, I don't. I don't sleep on airplanes. Man. He doesn't sleep. This is this dude yeah, doesn't that's, sleep. That's what everybody says. Like, dude, you never sleep. No. I made a comment because there's a friend of mine who uh, always posts that people fall asleep on airplanes, and somebody next to me fall asleep. So I, I took a selfie and sent it to him. Oh <laughs> so if you ever on an airplane with Mike Davenport, don't fall asleep. Steve Fast is here, Hammer Down Motorsports. So we got the whole setup. There's Jack in the distance with his vet and his Duramax. So this is an entire row we have here of cars and trucks. Um, we got our three tents in the middle, my tent, Jack's enthusiast tent, we got Hammerdown's tent, CSP, Andrew, there's uh, one of the twin turbo vets that they've finished, uh, that is here in the show, Andrew will be here with me, uh, we got a couple of our friends, um, we also have, let me think here, we have a couple other cars down at the other end there, our area basically ends where that black truck is, so we have 170 feet of cars and trucks which is awesome unfortunately what's not so awesome is the fact that mike and troy and inchain designs are way over there they didn't put us together this year unfortunately i don't understand it we requested to be together everything like that um westy got his big area shane got a big area and we wanted both of those big areas to be together but Unfortunately, it got lost in translation, but get your official Guitar Magen ZL1 glasses. Thanks for the merch plug, Steve. By the way, I got new merchandise. Guitar Magen ZL1 glasses. Show it off, Steve. We got, they are. I just got these today. They came in. Red and black. Got the logo on the side there, as you can see. The kind of Ray-Ban-esque. And then the, the insides of them are red, if you can see. Go ahead and take them off. You can see the insides red, but the outside's black. So... Red and black, two favorite colors. Steve looks good in them. Look at that. Mike, you need a pair of them now. Yeah. And we got Send It stickers. We finally got them. Basically, the remainder of these will be online of this weekend. I'm excited about this tent because it's got... It's red. It, well, it's it, aluminum. Nice, nice putting it that out up. there. It's red, <laughs> but 
It's got, dude, Mike, you'll like this. Look at this. It's got a window on the other side and it's got a doorway. So we can literally close this whole thing off because it's got four different sides. Or you can leave that up and just walk through the door and talk to people through the window. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this is going to be very yeah. useful. Look, you could, you could like hand yeah. merchandise out through here. Like, oh, you want a pair of sunglasses? <laughs> Yeah, there you go. See, Mike's got it. But this is going to be really useful this summer, uh, this whole season when we go to outdoor shows and events, because um, Camara Fest being one of them, all the call-outs this year, and this will be extremely useful, especially to keep the sun off me and, and everything like that. So, love it. A uh, really cool thing. My wife bought this for me for Christmas, this it's backpack. That's his know? new backpack. Mike Davenport. Don't look at my ass. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, I found out that it's got a rape whistle. <laughs> My wife has protected me if I get raped right here at Motorama. <laughs> it's a rape whistle. Hi, I'm Nick. I live in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, all my friends call me Guitar Mageddon Z01. As you see, I have here right here on my shirt. Um, that's the reason everybody calls me Guitar Mageddon Z01 because I can rip and I can shred and I can play heavy metal music and headbang with short hair. And now I have a long beard uh, because I did this in November. Uh, the shot in November, I didn't have a beard yet, but now it's uh, January and I do have a big, full, luscious, full beard, manly beard. I have two Z01s, that's why everybody calls me Z01. Uh, they're both not here right now, I'd show them to you because I've broken both of them. But I also have this Silverado. Uh, it's red, just like my Z01s. And uh, I actually gave name to my other Z01s called Freedom Rocket, yeah. Uh, but uh, hey, check out my YouTube channel. I'm kind of new um, at doing this. And uh, if you ever want to sit here and uh, see see this really cool salesman that sold me this uh, this truck right here and my other red Z01, my Gen 6 Z01, uh, check him out. His name's Chevy, dude. He's the best guy in the world. You know, check out my channel. I'll show you some really cool stuff with my all red vehicles. Peace out, man. How does it feel to have her back? It feels good, man. I was excited. The uh, tenth of a mile I drove it from the parking lot in here to the spot was amazing. How does it feel being judged? <laughs> I'm not sure what they're, what they're looking for, but it's, you know. It's just a flashlight for We're looking for, like, paint problems. <laughs> it's rap, but yeah. So, just talking to Nick here, we're just talking about power-wise, his new 2017 ZL1 makes close to what the Super makes. You said about 600 some, right? Yep. And my Super makes 654 exactly. I think that would be a good race. I think it would be a good race for the YouTube call that's coming up here. What do you guys think? I want to hear your opinions on all this. So let me know down in the comments below. So, those of you guys that remember the Oktoberfest call out last year, I called out two S550 guys. Both white. Both white. The this is one of them. The other guy was Paul Panda S550. You guys know him from Instagram. Anthony here decides he wants to call me out, but didn't ex didn't even show up to the last call out. And I told yeah. him he needs to first accept my call out, and then he can call me out. So I say we wash my call out and your call out, and just do one big call. So we'll out. start fresh. Me and Mike and you. We'll start fresh. All three of us. So April 28th is the first call out. Mark your calendar. So there you go. Anthony Santora, he has a shop, Santora uh, Performance, or what is it? Santora Star Exhaust and Fab, and then yeah. ST Performance. Yep, so check him out. What's up, man? I need my glasses. Dude, Nick's got his glasses. He's prepared. Hey, I need to get some glasses. Oh, the Target Den ZL1 official glasses now available. Well, good, dude. Well, Nick, I'm happy to see you, buddy. It's yeah, the first time I've seen you all day. I am very good to see you all together. I know. Well, at least we're in the same building. Yes. TarmageddonZL1.com backslash store.
So we've reached the end of Motorola. And this is the part that most people, like I, I'd be most excited for, is because the doors roll up and everyone starts the cars, trucks, and you know, it's pretty much, all bets are off after that. It's getting loud. Let's hear them bald eagles. getting uh, all the cars ready to go home. Andrew got the uh, CSP Twin Turbo Vet on the trailer. Woo! <laughs> Motorama was fun, it was awesome. It's too short though, you know? I wish it would be a little bit longer of, a, of an event. You know, it feels like it just happened, so. But either way, I, I enjoyed it. Thanks to everyone that came out, I really appreciate it. Uh, and those of you guys that didn't come out, do not worry, because we have some awesome Call out events coming very shortly. Our first one is April 28th, Cecil County Dragway on a Saturday. And we're gonna be doing a, a little tour here. We're gonna be going to other parts in the US for you guys. I'm not gonna release dates at this moment, but they will be soon to come. And you guys will know, like I said, very shortly. So also there's a new addition to the online store, Tom Again Z01 sunglasses. And uh, they will be available for you guys on the store. You can tell me again, backslash store. That will be in the description below. Can I have a pair of sunglasses? I can see everything! Where the hell are we? So while Andrew's gonna try to strap down uh, his car and sunglasses, we're gonna end this video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big, big thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And go check out and subscribe to my channel, Sean Being Sean. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers in the next couple days here before the cutoff here. So if you could help me out, that would be great. Description below, Sean Being Sean. Have a great day.